Hello everybody and welcome to another video. This video is going to be dedicated to anybody who basically needs help with showing a good footage on the Nintendo DS. To also the last um, Nintendo DS that came out, which was the 2DS. Any other Nintendo DS is from the series, you basically need to do the same thing with this. Um, Half of it I'm going to show later on on PC because I know I have a hard time explaining, sometimes, explaining things sometimes and it can get confusing unless I show it in a way. So I'm going to do that to make it a bit easier, but I am going to tell you exactly what's going on. Also, one more thing, there's sometimes my vent comes on and when it does it blows out air, so if y'all hear that. Y'all not, it's nothing crazy, you're not hearing things, I'm just letting you know that ahead of time. On top of that, my mom is chilling in another room, it is Saturday, she likes to relax, so if y'all hear anything, especially a TV show or something like that, it's because of her. It's not anything <laughs> of y'all guys just thinking like you're crazy or anything like that. Alright, so, um, first, before you start, of course, you obviously know that you need a Nintendo DS um, or, you know, any sorts of one of the ones. The one that I have here is a 2DS XL. It was the last model. Um, there was also a, tor a blue one, Taurus or Turquoise, Turquoise, I said Taurus, <laughs> Turquoise one as well, but it's the last model before they like discontinue the whole entire Nintendo DS series thing. Um, I also, you also need a charger. Make sure you have a charger because while you're in the middle of the gameplay, you do want to, you do want to uh, make sure that you can be able to continue playing without it cutting off on you randomly. Um, you're also going to need a PC. Uh, if you don't have a PC of some sort, then I cannot help you with the sound part of the Nintendo DS. Um, you're just going to have to wing it out with a camera. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Also, you're going to need a camera. As you can see, you see the footage that I'm recording with, you're going to need one. It doesn't matter what type of camera it is. I got a point and shoot camera, basically a Canon um, G9X, uh, second mark. I have one of those and that's what I use to record basically any footage. So you're going to need that. Also you're going to need a tripod or some type of way of having your camera to stand on just so you can be able to get that good footage and not just something shaky. But um, yeah. Also there is one more thing you're definitely going to need. Auxiliary cord. A 3.5 meter millimeter auxiliary cord. Whatever it is, you just need one of things. It doesn't matter the brand, just get you one of things. Okay, let's get started. So, so um, of course, as you I saw earlier, I did have my char charger plugged into my Nintendo DS. I have my Nintendo DS on a flat table, obviously. And um, what I did is basically, you see this plug? That auxiliary cord that I told you, I plugged that in. I plugged that in into my Nintendo DS and I plugged the other one into my PC. Now, basically, what I'm going to say is that on my PC, I turned the sound to an input on the thing, which I say I'm going to show you later on. But I turned it to an input where basically it's recording on the PC. Now, I don't know if MacBook, I mean, Mac PCs have this, but I definitely know that um, Windows PCs have this. If you have a Windows 10 PC, you can be able to do this. Go to the app that I set that's called Voice Recorder. Record and see if you hear an input. If you don't, then of course you're going to have to change some settings around and you're going to hear it eventually. That's how you guys hear Chris audio from my Nintendo DS. You're hearing it from there. Not from my camera, from there. <laughs> But yeah, I have that set up. Also, I will show you guys how I have my setup. 
I'll take a picture of that and show you guys that now. Yeah, you guys see? This is basically a setup that I kind of did a long time ago. It was something I was doing with my art stuff. I still to this day will do it with my art stuff, but it's a setup that I have. And so that's how I got my footage. And yeah, of course you want to also make sure you check on the camera thing, like see if the thing is like too bright or too uh, dull. That's also when you play in the home settings. When you go to your home settings, you can go underneath home and then press that home icon and then just scroll down to screen bright brightness. And you just play with one of them levels and see how it looks on your camera. Whatever level you like, it's for you. And I hope this helped. If it didn't, let me know. Um, I, I can try to put in a more, I guess, text way of a video so it don't, so I don't sound like I'm confusing y'all. But if I did help you, I am so glad and I hope you have a fun time recording any footage that you want to do on your Nintendo DS. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go. I'm gonna let y'all guys see the uh, footage of how to do on PC. And yeah, all right guys.